Teacher forces students to lock up cell phones, and it's becoming a national trend. I'm plentiful lucky to be one of the last generations of kids who grew up without access to new, fully functioned smartphones. I'm not about to debate their usefulness in any way, nor tell you that you shouldn't give your child a smartphone before a certain age. What I will say, however, is that I'm glad I spent my youth outdoors doing things children have done for thousands of years, namely exploring and having fun. It saddens me to think of groups of school children walking around each day with their eyes stuck to a screen. Not only that, but I'm sure it can't be healthy or productive when it comes to their education. Digital photography teacher Michael Lee of Spokane, Washington, thinks the same. Over the course of the 2017 school year, he started to notice students are coming earlier and earlier to class than their normal routine and editing their photographs at a much faster speed. It wasn't until he found the reason behind the change, however, that he thought something had to be done about it. The kids are not working extra hard because of any particular activity, but, as Michael eventually found out, so that they could return to their mobile phones quicker and invest their potential online. Michael said, My general goal was to give kids a chance to focus on what they're doing, and that's a tough job to do when every few seconds or every few minutes there's a bleep on your phone and you have to check what it is. Ambitious to make a change, Michael started looking on the road to other approaches related to storing mobile phones and other mess that's disturbing their focus from study. In the end, he went for a large phone cubby and in doing so devised a new system for his students. Each student was given a cubby number in order to have a safe place to put their phone at the beginning of the class. Not only does this stop them being unfocused by online signals and messages, but it also charges their phone for the whole class. Before long, Michael started to notice a positive movement in his classes, along with some fairly remarkable results. Other teachers in his school are being inspired to follow Michael's model, and it's starting to spark a fire that could inspire the nation-state. What do you think about Michael's indication? Do you think it's something others should be doing too? Let us know in the comments box below. In the meantime, share this article if you agree that kids learn better having phones off or on in class.